E E E, time to play my favorite operator in Siege. Look at this best defense strat ever. Woo wee! Shut up, you worm. This is an awful operator setup. Instead, pick these defenders you're gonna want to play in the new season of Siege. Trust, bro. If you bring any of these operators, you're either guaranteed an MVP or a girl in your bed. All right, guys. Be sure to watch until the end because the last operator is gonna be the best one. So before we start this video, let's try to hit 1,000 likes on this video because I'm giving you guys away the free sauce. Like I'm talking about the honey barbecue that Japanese barbecue sauce. I'm giving it away right now. Coming at number one, we have Azami. Azami is really strong right now because she can make angles and barriers out of thin air. So in the hands of a good player, you can make a lot of crazy angles and contest map control that attackers usually get for free. Think of Azami like a one-man army. As the round goes on, you get more Akiba barriers, which means more utility you have to use. And obviously that means you're more of a threat to the enemy team. Your main goal with Azami should definitely be to be holding map control and you're probably going to be the first one to die for your team, but that's totally okay as long as you waste about a minute 45 and maybe get a kill or two, you're chilling. Just mess around with her. Think of like where you always get shot from and you can literally block off the angle in an instant. So the loadout that I use on a zombie is the shotgun, mostly the SMG, but the shotgun has a 1.5. 69 damage for a shot is literally like a DMR high and low range. It's super, super good. The thing is, you have to get used to the fire rate in order to be good with it. You cannot be engaging too long in fights. You want to be dipping in and out with just like burst gun fights. I just use a flash hider and a vertical grip on the SMG, but use whatever you want. And you want to be running impact grenades most of the time, so that way you can impact trick while as well destroying any shields in the way. If you want to get better at a zombie, I recommend watching my streams or my YouTube videos because I love using a zombie. I'm definitely going to be putting her at my high on the list. Coming at number two, we have Aruni. Aruni is probably the best anchor in the game right now, arguably next to Cade, because her gates, the fact that you can reset her gates means even more utility. Are you getting a pattern here? More utility that you can collect, the better. I would recommend putting her gates on windows and common doorways people like to come in from, especially on the site. Do not be putting a rune gates way too far or in a room that barely gets pushed. Otherwise, the gate is not going to be used that much. So think of like, what is the doorway that everybody goes through as a rune? Oh, I'm gonna put it there then. So the lore that I use on a Rooney, um, I don't like the Roni because it has too much low of ammo and it doesn't really have that strong of a presence. But if you want to hold down a site, you got to fight off multiple angles at once. So that's where the MK14 EBR comes in clutch. Super strong DMR, guys. 60 damage a shot either way two two shot to the body is gonna kill someone angle grip i like angle grip is actually very very good on the ebr because there's zero recoil on the dmr uh compared to a lot of other weapons i don't recommend running angled but on dmrs angled is actually pretty good depends on the gun though and i use muzzle brake instead of the uh, suppressor it's all personal preference though because the dmr is just crazy right now i prefer to run bulletproof all of the time instead of barbed wire i leave the barbed wire to other operators but the bulletproof cam remember you're an anchor in sight you want to put the bp in a good line of sight i recommend treating it like a 90 degree angle that way you can move around the bp and even use the EMP. I think a lot of people forget that the bulletproof camera has a built-in EMP, so that means you could even impact trick a lot of stuff. But overall, no matter what, even if you accidentally place the Rooney Gates, it's still super strong presence whether you're dead or not. So if you want to play support but still frag up for the team, pick a Rooney. The next opera we have on the list is probably my favorite one, and she is super dominant, especially in this TDM meta. So if you're tired of Ash rushing all the time, say no more. Welcome. Thorn. Thorn uh, is very strong right now, and she's been strong ever since she got released because the fact that her traps can kill people and do a lot of damage has a strong presence, and a strong presence on defense is always, always very good. Remember, are we sensing a pattern, a strong presence? Whether you're even using the operator, people are like, oh shoot, they got a Thorn, I gotta watch out. Same thing with Capkin. But the main use of Thorn in this current meta is you want to be spreading out the traps. Here's the key. Shield is okay on Thorn, but the pull with shields right now are kind of suck. Uh, it's because everyone's already swinging. There's no point in hiding behind a shield. So I recommend using barbed wire. What I recommend my best tip for Thorn is spread out your traps. Do not put Thorn uh, barbed wire uh, next to a Thorn trap. Situationally, um, if you're defending a large bomb site, sure, you know, you can, you're, you can spread it out. But if you're you know, playing a small bomb site, it's okay to bunch them up. But the point is, barb wire and the thorn traps should be an alley-oop to your gunfights, not super passive. You know, they, they should be the ones getting destroyed first. So be more aggressive with your traps. You guys know I run the shotgun more than the SMG because the M870 is insane, bro. <laughs> you can one pup your enemies, super close range, super high fire rate to reload time. So I recommend only using the M870. If you're playing a close quarter spot, 
with your life. Otherwise, please use the freaking nail gun from Black Ops 3. It is crazy. Uh, guys, 40 damage a shot. You can literally three shot your enemies. 700 fire rate. Extended barrel makes it even better. I highly recommend using the extended barrel because it's low recoil. No, not a lot of downside to it. Trust me, it's going to work out really well. You could use angle grip on it because it has such a low recoil, but it's totally personal preference. Otherwise, no matter what bomb set you bring Thorn, eventually people will have to walk in the building and come kill you. Walk through doorways, staircases, hop in a window. Guys, put the Thorn trap there. And it's it's like a it's, there's no such thing as like a bad thorn trap unless it's in the middle of the open but if that goes off you get instant information next up on the board we have the old timer oh, we have Cade. Cade is very strong right now because you will realize a lot of these operators i'm talking about their abilities are super passive like when you put them down like you don't you can go do other shit you don't have to like like a zofia you know you have to pull out your gadget or gun down but with all these operas I'm talking about, they're all like, you put that shit down and then you just go do your thing. Now you have a lot more presence. So Cade's really good because Bandit, you have to actually put the battery down. But Cade, you can get hatches, you can get more walls. Overall, pretty easy operator. Good anchor, C4, you know, good weapon. You can make rotates a lot with the TCSG. Uh, TCSG, if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically just like a slug shotgun. You can make really good rotates, really, really good gun. Now, if you're trying to be Han Solo, sure, go ahead and use the 44 mag otherwise please use the revolver and by all means only c4 bro don't be running c4 over bar or don't be running barbed wire over c4 bro but obviously you don't want to be roaming a lot with k just hold down the main spots like you will eventually get action towards the mid round to the end round with anchors but early on you know put your stuff put your cage down but don't, don't put them too far away you know try to juggle them around see where they're going from you can always swap your cage spots and get on camps early for your team and then end round use that c4 for any kind of c4 kill or plant denial so if you're good with the uh, recoil control and you have decent aim use a tcsg trust me you're gonna be two tapping enemies across the map all right next up for the operator on this list i think it's pretty obvious i think you guys know who it is i'm on this list but guys if you are not picking lesion trust me he is super good right now why because his goo mines he has so many traps that he can use throughout the round be super adaptable uh and they give away really good sound cube and even though they are did take the invisibility off it doesn't matter if you want to destroy the goo mine you ought to give away your position by shooting it or you run into it naturally my best tip for lesion would definitely be to put them on the side of the doorway or like on a sharp turn on a staircase do not put your lesion mines directly in sight otherwise they're only going to go off when they're in sight and that's a big problem so put them on the bottom of the staircase remember traps need to alley-oop you into the gunfight they need to be the first contact before you are think about home alone did kevin put himself at risk or did he put the freaking bag of wrenches above the doorway like a freaking capkin trap in the second movie you know what i'm talking about but anyways let's look at his loadout bro he's got the lowest recoil uh on the t5 i don't run a shotgun don't run it yeah vertical grip is good always use vert don't use anything else you want to use standard barrel you can I think it has that much damage oh three damage sure i'll take it otherwise the biggest elephant in the room is super shorty on lesion any operator that can make rotates from a secondary gadget is super super key and strong that means you can adapt to a lot different more site setups so guys if you aren't picking lesion you're trolling the next operator we have on this list is wamai i is very strong right now because again he's adaptable to any bomb site you know he could put the on a window he can be safe from grenades and have a second chance at life uh, when someone starts flashing you out so what i recommend for wamai is put them as like far away and like max out the radius i think a lot of people underestimate the radius on wamai but if it catches a grenade you don't want the grenade to blow up near where your utility is put it on the opposite side of the door above it that way it explodes in the air and no casualties a very popular pick is always going to be the mp5 with the 1.5 flash hider just because 1.5 is super strong right now unfortunately the aug does not have it but it has a very strong damage rate and low recoil so if you're good at holding big things in front of you then use the aug but guys use what he's super strong right now and guys the operator at the end of this list is going to surprise you because this operator is going to be on top no matter what like if someone is standing on business it's going to be that operator next up we have goyo so you might not be expecting goyo why goyo aren't his shields nerfed no he has four gas tanks that can literally act like a smoke and dude the, i swear goyo fires whenever they go off it's flaming the entire round it could blow up at the beginning of the round and then the last 30 seconds of the round there's still fire i don't know how but his gun is a little bit tricky to use the vector you know has a lot of recoil um unlike ayana but if you're feeling risky and you're good at controlling recoil control 
guys use the extended barrel super super strong um otherwise just use a flash hider if you're going for headshots anyways on the x uh on the vector then by all means but use the 1.5 do not use anything else unless you're like a 4x3 demon the tcsg is just like it it's still good for making rotates, but you want to use that vector for that headshot capability. All three of these are actually really good. Impacts are good for rotates. Beepers are good for, you know, information and bulletproof, obviously bulletproof camera information too. But the reason why Goyo is a must pick this season is because people love to rush and being able to control the tempo of the, the of the attack with Goyo fires is super, super strong because you could be across the map. All you need to do is just shoot the canister and boom. You don't have to worry about the door no more. And if you do the math, each Goyle fire lasts about like, I think 15 seconds, 14 seconds. I'm pretty sure his gadget lasts like 15 to like 20 seconds. It's crazy amount of time. So if you got like 40 seconds left of the round and you have two Goyle cans on a certain doorway, there's literally no way they're able to walk in without damage. I would like have two of them for like early game and then two of them for end game. You know, that way you can have enough time to delay. Next up on this list, this might be a controversial take, but Frost. You're wondering why why frost you know doesn't she suck people think that frost is uh you know after the rework is going to be super super strong but it's okay you know the, the amount of people that self revive out of frost mounts is pretty low um if there's a person nearby but either way it's still a trap you know you have to take a crosser off if you put it under a, on, on a, under a window they have to hop in shoot below them and potentially have another defender come attack you otherwise it's super good for information as well remember an operator that has passive like presence is super super strong i mean just take a look at our gun guys super low recoil 40 damage a shot especially with the extended barrel but 1.5 and low recoil makes the gun extremely dangerous but again on top of that bro we have a secondary shotgun secondary shotgun for rotates hatches close range gun fights is insane it's very similar to lesion frost and lesion are very very similar because traps really strong low recoil primary and obviously a secondary shotgun now i would highly recommend running the bulletproof camera over the shield like I said, shields aren't really good in this meta right now because you have to be active. So cameras, even if you're dead, you bring that uh, camera work on defense. And guys, now for the last operator on this list that we've all been waiting for, strongest of them all, the top of the top, we have Solus. So if you're wondering, okay, well, I think Solus actually does a private pretty uh, high IQ to play her because you can see literally the entire attack like the like strategy of where they're droning where they're putting gadgets down you can predict a lot nowadays people don't really have to set up that much so solus you can go and drone hunt the entire round if you wanted to let your team put up the walls like handy mandy but listen when you are collecting like three drones round the roi is insane even early round you know if you're going up against a good team they're droning before they will go in so being able to collect another wave of drones is pretty strong and even better solus can rely on herself doesn't need a lot of help from teammates but remember even though she can see a lot of things it depends on what you do with that information so remember with great power comes great responsibility just because you see someone droning outside does not mean you turn into a warden main and throw your fucking head out the window my advice for solos is to be moving positions as much as you can you will see solos at every single pro league game and that's why she's banned a lot too and the fact that she can see a planter from below and she is alive throughout the round you're always gonna be like damn i gotta watch out i can't drone here i can't plant here i gotta be careful so in the hands of a good player solos is literally all x but guys that is all the my best defenders for you guys to win in the next season guys try these out share this with your team so that way they know not to pick freaking caviar every round so if this video does help you guys let's try to hit a thousand likes on this video i would appreciate it a lot thank you guys for watching don't forget you can get my in-game charm on my twitch i'll see you there